World War I started in 1914 after the assassination of Austrian Archduke Franz Ferdinand on June 28th by Bosnian Serb nationalist Gavrilo Princip. You see, for decades, there had been a growing nationalist sentiment in the Balkans against the ruling Austro-Hungarian Empire. After the assassination, Austria-Hungary, with support from Germany, who together with Italy formed the Triple Alliance, issued an ultimatum to Serbia as a pretext for invasion. Russia, coming to the aid of their Slavic neighbor Serbia, started mobilizing their army. Germany saw this as an act of aggression and declared war on Russia. Germany, a relatively new great power on the scene, wanted to expand their empire and saw war as a means to do it. Russia, however, was in their own alliance, the Triple Entente with France and Britain. And so Germany knew that war with Russia also likely meant war with France and Britain. So Germany commenced their preemptive Schlieffen plan by attacking France, ideally hopefully taking them out as quickly as possible before being able to refocus on Russia before they would be able to mobilize their entire fighting force. The years leading up to the war saw tensions rise due to numerous arms races, and now the world would see the devastating effects of industrialized warfare. And there you have the four main causes of the First World War. And hey, they make a pretty handy acronym too, right? The four main causes. If this all went by a little bit fast, you can check out my extended video on the four main causes of the First World War right here. And while you're at it, like, subscribe, ring that bell, and we'll see you again next time.